Hello there, Gemini. This is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration, and I am here to help you lead a peaceful, prosperous, whole and healed life, spirit led. And today, Gemini, sun, moon, and rising, I'm here for your March 2021 reading. Again, this is for March 2021, Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. We're going to deal with a little bit of the astrology and then we are going to get right into the Oracle and the Tarot. March is going to be a very interesting month overall. Um, we have just come into a season where all the planets are direct, which means everything is moving forward, full steam ahead. There's no holding back. There's no question. We are going forward. So all of the plans, all the manifestations, all of the dreams, all of that is coming into full effect. Um, because of that also, you're going to be feeling in March this, you know, March is the, the beginning, you know, with the spring um, equinox, we have the yeah, spring equinox, sorry, it just like flipped my head for a second. Um, the spring equinox, we have um, the beginning of the zodiac year with Aries coming into play in March. Um, it, and so this, there's this sense of renewal, right? And this sense of hope springing eternal and this sense of new life being born. And that's the energy that March brings. Well, along with that, I want you to watch out for some key dates, okay, for you. March 13th is the new moon in Pisces. And on March 13th, um, what's going to be happening is not only is the sun and the moon going to be conjunct, of course, that's the new moon, but we're going to have a conjunction with Venus and Neptune within orb. So basically there is a stellium there on March 13th. That's coming up very quickly. Well, and at the same time, by that point, Mars will be solidly into Gemini. What would I expect at that point? That means Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, that the that Stellium in Pisces is going to be squaring you. So it's going to be rubbing you this way of saying, it's going to be challenging you to say, are you really going to finally go after what you love? Are you really going to finally step out into this great unknown, step out into this 5D world of manifestation creation, really. I want us to really focus less on the manifestation aspect of life and more on the creation aspect. I think too often when we are, when we're only using the terminology manifestation, that brings up this, right, the magician card or this just concept of, woo, you know, woo, and it's, it's, it's real like ethereal and sometimes can feel very inaccessible, like unattainable. However, if you look at it from the aspect of this is really creation and less manifestation, what's going to happen is Mars being very fiery, being very passionate in your sun, moon, or rising sign, especially at this time of the new moon and during the month of March, and it's going to be going straight on through. It's going direct, direct, direct. And you've got, especially at this new moon time, and then I'm looking also more towards the latter part of the month when the sun then comes into Aries and begins to sextile your sun, moon, and rising, then what, what we decide to put in as far as intentions, what we are really saying, I am finally being challenged and I'm going to accept the challenge and I'm very willing to step into this higher purpose, this higher dream, those dreams that seem highly unattainable and yet all at the same time, it is truly what I love. When we're able to do all of that, right? That is then when you'll begin to see throughout the month of March and then into the full moon that will be in Libra, that your dreams, your aspirations, your creation, right? This is fiery Mars, male energy Mars by your sun, moon, and rising, and female Venus with the moon, with Neptune, adding all of that beautiful um, love and light and spirit to your passion so that third dimensionally we can then create 
we create in the ethers and it gets birthed into the third dimension. This is what I want you to pay very close attention to, Gemini. Be listen to your to your gut, listen to your higher self, listen to the sounds and the frequencies in the song, right? Of the ancestors, the song of your spirit guides, the song of the angels, indeed the song of spirit. Don't waver. Those great ideas that you have, let's bring them in. Let's put some passion and fire. And then let's put some also love and divine feminine energy behind it as well. So we can effectuate real creation. Now let's look at the tarot and the oracle. So what we're um, using today um, is we have the sacred power reading cards. We and right here, and then we've got the keepers of the light right here in the middle. And then finally, we, we've got the flower of life as well. Oracle cards, wisdom of Astar. I really like this deck. Um, there, it's a little wordy, but I really like the deck for the wisdom that it brings. And then if we need to, we're going to look at the light seers tarot for some additional assistance. So let's see some clarification. Let's see what the sacred power reading cards have for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Can I get one card? Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Divine Consciousness. Divine Consciousness. We were just talking about that. That's what you're going to get with that um, Neptune in Pisces energy, right? With Venus coming in there. It's, it's, it's access to divine consciousness. And here we go. Commander Ashtar. I swear Commander Ashtar has been like popping up. Call to action. Take charge. Lead by example. Walk your talk. Gemini, Lord knows y'all do a good talk, but we're going to need you to walk that talk today. Or this month in March. And let's get one more Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, please, from the Flower of Life Oracle. Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. You know, this is really just saying, really, like, honestly, be in touch with higher self. Like, if you are remain in touch with your higher self, and you may remain in touch with spirit, and you remain in touch with your guides, and allow yourself to be spirit-led, Divine consciousness is really Gemini trying to flow through you and to you and get to you and assist you. And, and I think some Gemini have to really remember that you are divine and that you naturally have access to the divine consciousness because you are part of the divine consciousness. This isn't something new. This is what is meant to be. So this is who you are. You're divine, right? And then we have universal law. Everything in the universe consists of energy, <coughs> excuse me, formed into different vibrations. All that is experienced and created in this life is the result of the magnetic law of attraction. Through this law, energies of the same type come together. Whatever you focus on will come into your life. We were just talking about that. The universe will never judge you and as, as, and as such makes no distinction between good and bad. It only organizes energies according to similarity. Today, create a vision for your life. Feel your vision, feel that feeling, and radiate it through your body, your mind, body, and spirit. Hold that feeling, meditate on it, become it, and very soon you will have many manifestations of your higher vision for your life. Sorry, I had to grab some coffee. Um, I don't even know how much I really need to do here at this point, because literally this is just what I was talking about just a little bit ago. You as a divine being, as a spiritual being, having a human experience, have the ability to create your world. That is universal law. Everything in the universe consists of energy formed into different vibrations. 
what are you vibrating at? And, and I really feel that March 13th is a very key date for you. I want you all to really pay attention, especially my Geminis, to the moon, to the new moon energy. And we'll probably talk about this a little bit more on the channel here in the next couple of days. But you really need to be paying to this new moon energy and really accessing it and really understanding it and really understanding it and really utilizing it to its fullest capabilities because we haven't been up until this point because we've been so concerned with like kind of just living in this 3d life we've got to start looking at all of these these transits and all of this from a 5d perspective and and how that relates to the 3d as it is above so it is below okay as it is below, so it is above. It's a complete mirror. But if we start from above and bring it into below and we actually get our call to action and take charge of our lives, take charge of our existence, instead of always like waiting for life to happen to us or hoping and pushing, pu pushing wishing and praying that something's gonna happen positive, how about you take charge Tap into your divine consciousness, utilize the universal law of creation. Really, that's what we're talking about. Is everything consists of energy formed into different vibrations. What are you vibrating at? Because it doesn't matter whether it's good or bad, you're going to get it. There's no judgment here. There's no decision. Well, this is good. This is bad. So you need to go to, in, in other words, if you're giving out the vibration of consistently being in toxic energy, that's the vibration, that's the energy you're gonna get on a consistent basis. Energy coming towards you, three of swords. We're gonna clarify that. Energy you are bringing to the table, 10 of swords. I like that. Three of wands, energy that you might have that might be difficult for you to overcome. Ten of Pentacles is going to be the energy that's going to help you overcome that obstacle. And what's outcome or advice, please? Six of Swords. I like this. Let me tell you something. This is why I believe this Three of Swords is here. The energy coming towards you is the universe or spirit is giving you an opportunity to decide. Are you going to continue to... Oh, this is tough love. I don't want any of you wallowing in self-pity, so to speak. Are you going to look at this toxic energy that's been coming to you, this heartbreak, this disappointment? Are you going to look at to do the inner work and say, I'm, I'm no longer going to be ashamed of myself or overly critical of myself. I'm going to do my work. I'm going to take accountability for my actions and then I'm going to change, right? I'm going to change my response to outside stimulus and or inside stimulus. I'm going to really do the regenerative work here. So, and, and, and you're bringing that to the table. This 10 of swords says, I am ready to be done. I am ready to be done. You are ready to close the chapter on all of the lunacy that has been going on in your world. You are ready to close the chapter on people that are saying bad things about you. People that are, that you saying bad things about yourself. You're ready to close the chapter on all the crap that's been put within you. And you're ready to finally tap into your divine consciousness with a complete belief and this call to action so that you can employ the universal law. You're going to have multiple opportunities this month in March to take beauty, to make beauty out of ashes. That's really what this is. This is, what are you going to do with all of this? It's time for you to do your work. It's time for you to dig up some more of those roots. It's time for you to look at the fruits that you've been, been getting and if you're if you don't like the fruit you need to uproot and change the tree okay three of wands it could be i feel like you know what i'm not sure if this is ever going to end i'm not sure if this is really worth it this is painful i don't feel like dealing with this i you know even though you want it all to end you want to stop that cycle of people speaking death over you and you speak a death over yourself but is this really going to end now, this doesn't apply to everybody, so it doesn't apply to you. You know, take what, what does and move on. So there's going to be times potentially during this month that you're going to be like, I'm not sure if my dreams can come true. There's been so many people, for some of you, Gemini, that are speaking death over you and death over your dreams. You don't even know what to do anymore. You're just tired. And you fight, right? You fight, you fight, you fight, you fight, you fight. You're sick of it. 
there's, you know, people that feels like they're out to get you or people that are just, I mean, it's just an issue, right? And you're tired of it. That's why this Ten of Swords, it's like you're ready to move all the toxicity and all the garbage and really release it and finally come into your own and finally be really happy and, 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 and loving and just settled in who you are. Not that you're settling, but settled in who you are. And that Ten of Pentacles, knowing that on the other side of that work is complete and utter abundance, complete abundance. Right? In every area of your life, that's what's looking to manifest. That keeping your eye on the prize and your goals and your dreams and your aspirations and you know what is your higher calling, keeping your eye there is what's going to help you overcome this feeling of, I'm not sure if it's really going to work. Because it is. And the Six of Swords being the outcome or advice, you are going to leave behind all the crap that no longer serves you. You are leaving all the garbage. You are leaving all the turmoil. You are leaving all the toxicity. And you are running, dare I say running, towards prosperity. You are running and prosperity and abundance, that doesn't always just mean money. I mean in thought, in deed, in word, in your dreams, beginning to take root during the season of new life. You're leaving the old behind and traveling to a new life and traveling to a new world and riding the vibrational waves, riding the frequency waves, riding the, th the fifth dimensional wave into creating your third dimensional world. Gemini, I want to thank you so much for being here. I very, very much appreciate it. Um, I hope I've earned your subscription. Um, and uh, a like and a share from you. Um, you know, you've seen in a couple of different spots this 100 Light Workers in 100 Days Light Worker Academy is open now. Um, I, I founded it, you know, late mid last year, I think. And we are now offering a master class slash a certification course in spiritual counseling and energy healing. So if that is of interest to you and um, you would like to start uh, at least begin the enrollment process, there's a 15 minute call I need you to book. There's a, a link tree down below in the description here. I need you to click on that link tree and then go ahead and book that 15 minute call so we can see if you're a good candidate for our program. Now also in that link tree, you're also gonna find links to my other socials like IG and TikTok and things like that too. So for other content that is not here on YouTube. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so very much. Namaste. Bye-bye.